we can actually assess the effect of relative humidity that the adhesive sees um, by doing uh, testing. Uh, this picture shows a whole series of um, standard test blocks of concrete set over standard relative humidity solutions. And what we do is uh, take these standard blocks of concrete, place them on top of pans of saturated salt solutions. Um, the water then provides a standard environment of 75% humidity or 85 or 95%. And then we let those equilibrate. And then we go along, as shown in the next picture, and we can actually pull the uh, adhesive and the flooring off of the concrete by doing what's called adhesive bond tests, tensile bond tests, or shear bond tests. And those give us the strength then of the bond after the concrete has been exposed to moisture for some length of time. By doing this, we can actually measure how the moisture is affecting the adhesive bond, as shown in the graphs on this next slide. There are two different adhesives that we tested here as examples that we're showing. The vertical left-hand axis shows the tensile bond strength, 20, 40, 60, up to 140 uh, pounds per square inch of bond strength. Across the bottom, we see uh, different exposures to humidity, 75, 85, 97 percent. Let's look at the left-hand graph first, uh, the adhesive number one. Uh, when that adhesive was exposed to 75 percent humidity, as shown in the last um, uh, photograph of, of the experimental setup, uh, we found you could get 100 to 120 psi bond strength. Uh, some of that same adhesive was exposed then to 85% relative humidity in the concrete, and the strength went down to between 80 and 100 psi. It lost about 20% of its strength. Uh, the third experiment was measuring uh, down at 97% relative humidity, and you see the bond strength has been cut in half. So here's an example of an adhesive that's strongly affected, and we can measure that effect very precisely and very accurately uh, and we've seen that it went from 100 or 120 PSI down to around 60 PSI as the humidity in the concrete went from 75 to 85 to 97 percent. So as the relative humidity increased, bond strength decreases. And now the manufacturer can take this data and set a limit and say, okay, 75 percent is good, 85 percent we've lost 20 percent of our bond strength, we're going to set a limit of 75% for this particular adhesive. And that's a precise scientific technical way uh, of doing it. So we're past the days of simply saying three pounds for sheet final and five pounds for VCT. We can actually establish very uh, accurately and, and with the scientific validity the uh, relative humidity number to use for a particular adhesive and floor covering combination. The second graph, the results are very different. Over on the right-hand side for adhesive number two, we see that the strength of the adhesive bond, first of all, is quite a bit lower, around 25 to 30 PSI. And the reason is that's a VCT adhesive where we don't need a lot of tensile bond strength. We need, a, we need better in-plane shear strength, but the tensile strength is not so important. With this particular adhesive, we see there's virtually no change in its bond strength going from 75 to 85 to 97 percent humidity. Now, this is an adhesive that's very moisture resistant. By looking at this data, the manufacturer can say, we'll, we're gonna, we, we know it'll work up to 95, 97 percent humidity. We'll put a safety factor on there and we'll sell this adhesive up to 90 percent relative humidity. And this is how we can determine uh, a safe number for the performance of an adhesive in a scientifically valid fashion. And that's what adhesive manufacturers are having us do in our facility. So in summary, um, on this next slide, we see a few bullet points that point out um, the relative humidity limit for an adhesive and a floor covering system will vary with the product, the flooring product, and the particular adhesive. So we can have vinyl composition tile, which will perform differently depending upon the adhesive that's used. And, uh, and the opposite is true. We may have various adhesives that are suitable at different moisture levels for a particular flooring product. Uh, it can be determined scientifically uh, in a valid way through testing. We can evaluate the bond strength versus adhesive at a safety factor and now come up with what may be a tiered system of adhesives that are suitable 
for different floorings. And the beauty of the system uh, is going to be that we can go out to a job site and measure the actual moisture condition in the floor. Depending on that moisture condition, we may then select the most appropriate adhesive to get good performance and to have a warranty. And this seems to be the direction that the industry is moving.